I went to Spotlight for this and this and I came home with this everybody I am back I thought I would restart my YouTube channel with a pattern fabric haul why not it's Christmas I went to spotlight like I said in the introduction for two things for some double-sided tape to finish a bag that I'm currently making I'll show you that hopefully next week and <clears throat> excuse me to get some uh, tracing twirl interfacing stuff to trace patterns with because um, I've been using my pattern drafting fabric and uh, sorry paper one it's expensive and two it's not it's okay depending on the sort of pattern if it's a a zero printed pattern with black ink it's fine you can see no problem to trace it but if it's a uh, paper tissue pattern with the blue print it's a bit tricky to see it and so um, <clears throat> I thought just get some actual tracing paper or let's I'll show you what it is um, it's good because oh, there's my face right up close <laughs> um, you've probably all seen it before it's simplicity it's called trace twelve it's um, it's a bit like a sewing interfacing um, sort of. It's a it's a non-woven fabric. It's the best way to describe. I'm trying to break into it to show you. I think it's the best way to describe it. There we go. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. I'm sure you would have all seen this stuff before. I used to use it all the time and it's actually really good and your patterns do last for a long time um, and it's not too difficult to uh, do things like you know make alterations where you might um, slash and spread a pattern or something. Anyway, so I went for the double-sided tape and the tracing um, stuff and I had just a few days ago received um, an envelope in the post oh, I should have got it anyway I received an envelope in the post uh, spotlight catalog spotlight deals and I thought don't even look at that just don't look at it put it in the bin and I put it on the kitchen bench to go in the bin and of course Wayne would never just chuck a spotlight voucher in the bin because I might get grumpy so it sat there and this morning I thought oh, I'll just have a quick look might be might be able to you know save a few dollars on the double-sided tape or something because it's quite expensive and I saw that patterns new look Vogue new look Vogue quick sew and birder yeah, new look Vogue quick sew and birder patterns all for ten dollars which is two dollars fifty Australian each which is like, I don't know, five bucks in every other country for four patterns, so it's amazing. And so I would, couldn't resist going and having a little look-see and let me show you what I purchased. So I spent a sneaky $30 on patterns, but I'm pretty happy with them. Some of them are um, inspired by Sean from Kittenish Behaviour as I'm sure many of you watch um, <clears throat> and so um, yeah anyway here we go so we've got a uh, new look 6574 I really love um, this view A I like the the longer length I have a um, review which is an Australian designer uh, review dress very similar to this which I absolutely love the only difference is that the review dress has slightly more ballooned sleeve with um, 
gathered in cuff and that would not be very difficult to alter so uh, yeah, that will be a, a fairly soon that will stay out not get put away um, even though it is summer here but I'll make it ready for winter then I saw this Vogue V8333 and this is a Claire Schaefer custom couture pattern. I have a few Claire Schaefer patterns and I've done some of her custom couture classes and I have one of her books I'm pretty sure um, and I really like the style and shape of this and I thought it would look great with um, with what other oh I can't believe I've forgotten the name of them anyway with a pair of wide leg tailored trousers which for which I have a pattern they're the oh, the Pauline Alice Sorrel trousers so uh, I thought I might I've got some lovely wool um, I'm going to, to do a twirl of that because I already know I love the pants and they fit um, I've got some lovely wool but it might not be enough I might have to look at uh, because the Pauline Alice sorrel trousers take a lot of fabric because the legs are very wide. That makes them, are they very wide? Anyway, they're, I don't know, they're probably about that wide at the bottom or for each one. So you can't really, ordinarily when you cut trousers, you, you know, you put the legs together and then you've got the top of the trousers hanging off the end sort of thing and that way you reduce the amount of fabric that you use when you lay them but you can't really do that with the Pauline Alice trou sorrel trousers because they're so wide anyway let's move on so that's the idea for that um, blazer is to make a um, suit a pants suit in particular then I saw this one and I thought um, to be honest I would wear every one of those versions so there's straight skirts and slightly uh, sort of an A-line skirt and you know they're varying lengths basically uh, and then you know options for uh, no for sleeveless short sleeve and a elbow length sleeve. so I really really liked that that's um, V9313 and this one here is a Shan inspired we might have to get a tissue in a minute sorry this one here is a Shan inspired pattern this is a Vogue V94 V9345 um, I love again all of these and the same as Shan if you haven't seen hers um, I would Excuse me. <coughs> I I would cuff the sleeves because they'll end up in your suit if you don't. Okay, so the next pattern is another Vogue V nine two nine six. I actually think Sean has this as well. I think I may as well just be like Sean number two in this pattern haul. I love everything that she does. She looks amazing in her clothing that she makes herself and if you haven't seen Kittenish Behaviour's YouTube channel you, and you're interested in sewing in particular dressmaking and dresses go and watch her she's brilliant she's very very likeable and um, she makes alterations to these generic patterns size alterations to make them look as beautiful on her as they do in these illustrations and she is just a normal human being like all of us we're all slightly different you know shapes none of us fit these patterns but she alters them to fit herself very very well is the point i'm trying to make uh anyway back to uh, v9296 i love this dress um i really actually quite like the long one but i think i go is somewhere between the two um, I would obviously well not obviously but again I would cuff the sleeve and this sort of dress I would make to wear to the ballet um, and 
and we have several uh, tickets to the ballet for next year. We have a season pass, so um, very soon you'll see a video of a dress that I made to wear to the last ballet that we went to, which was Sleeping Beauty was amazing, West Australian Ballet. If you live in WA, go just once, just once. If you've never been to the ballet, you can get a ticket for like 30 bucks. You don't have to get any fancy seats. You don't have to get dressed up. I do just because I like. It's an excuse for me to get dressed up. But there are people from all walks of life dressed in all different types of dress. There are toddlers through to very elderly people. It's an amazing experience. Do yourself a favour. Go to the ballet. Um, anyway, <clears throat> that's what this one's for, is to make a dress to wear to the ballet. All right. Another charm bought it, so so did I. Uh, Vogue 9053. I really like this one actually. It's very simple. Um, I'll show you the back because it's you can see the line drawings there. Now again, I would lengthwise go in between these two. I quite like something that cuts just below my knee usually. Um, but I would, yeah, I'd go somewhere in between and this would be a dress I would wear to work, to be honest. So that's another one. And here we go, let's do another, well I've got two more Shan got it, so so did I dress, uh, patterns. So this is a, <clears throat> another Vogue one, V9197. Now I really, really really like the simplicity of this dress it is a very very simple dress this is um for stretch fabric so um you know i'm not well i've got a few i do actually have i've got some stretch crepes um but to be honest i absolutely love this illustration the stripes going across and then down and um that's what i want to make so um i'll have to have a look at a lot i'll have to I'm, I'm turning back we'll have to have a serious look in my stash and see what i have but i would really like to make that exactly how it is on the pattern cover Okay, next one is a Vogue 8577, another, Sean's got it, so I needed it. Um, however, I, I just, this dress looks lovely on her. I think it would look lovely on anybody because it knits in at the waist and um, flares out, so it gives you a bit of shape, no matter what your shape is. Uh, but I love the pockets. The pockets are amazing and just big and, yeah. Who doesn't love a shirt dress? Let's, you know, let's be honest. So that one. And then I'm just looking over here at the rest of the pile. Let's see. Sean might actually have this one as well. I'm not sure. But this is another one. This will be a winter dress. But I might make this to wear to the ballet in winter. Or it could be a work dress. This is the uh, V93, Vogue V9327. Really, really like that. I'll show you the um, line drawings on the back. I think that um, view B is probably my favourite with the open sleeves and the long cuff. Obviously. So I really liked that. Then <clears throat> this one um, just jumped out at me and I was like, oh yes, and it has all sizes in the pattern. Uh, envelope for this one which was great it's v9282 so another vogue i i just really like the view c um i'm not sure if there's actually a cuff on the bottom of that or not i don't know about the other views i don't know if you can see here that it's got um well you can definitely see it on this one it's got like an open center seam and buttons down there not really sure about that I'll show you the 
I mean, it'll probably look stunning on some people. I like the one with the buttons at the top. So, you see. And I do have a pair of pants like that that are made from crepe. And um, I love them. Wear them, or well, I did wear them all the time. But I put on weight, I can't fit into them. So, when I saw that, I thought, yeah, I'll get that. Then, um, the second last one. So, this one for really for view C, but um, view B, which is this one here, I might make that as well. Um, view A, which is this here, like I couldn't wear that, my boobs would fall out of it, it wouldn't work. But I do really like view C, and I do love a asymmetrical swimwear so um and view d so the just the bikini bottom i've got some other um swimwear tops wear and that bottom might be great so i'll give it a try um <clears throat> excuse me and then the one last pattern that i bought was for wayne which is a quick so um K3638 it's just a, a jacket and a vest and I actually had it might even be the same pattern or it's it's very very similar anyway I had a bomber jacket and jumper it was in one pattern quick so and I made it once for Wayne way back when like 30 odd years ago and, and he liked it then and of course that style's back in fashion now and he would like one again only for some reason I've lost some of the pattern pieces I don't know how I managed to do that but apparently I have so um, we've only moved once in the time but mind you I have moved my sewing room about a million times in this one house so <laughs> that's probably where it got lost I probably packed everything up and threw out all the, the half-started projects that I thought I'd never finish and, you know, some of them that had all their pieces I would bundle up and give to Goodwill and so it probably ended up in one of those piles and I lost it. So, quick sew, nice, that'll be a nice easy sew for Wayne, I'm sure he'll really like that. I think that the, um, <clears throat> the... We would call this a this sleeveless one. We would call that a vest in Australia. But I believe that in the UK they call it a gilet. So um, that's probably from France. Um, but anyway, I might have a go at making something like that for camping. And then if it turns out well and he wants another one, I'll make him a better, nicer one. Um, and I've just got some sewing machine needles are always handy. Now, 40% uh, off rayons. So I got three meters of this beauty. I'm not sure what I'm going to make with it now because. I was thinking about making the dress I have on because and I'll show you it in a moment I have to remember what the pattern is um, I didn't dig it out it's a McCall's pattern um, I'll put it down here when I dig it out anyway I was going to make another one of these with that and then I got this one here as well, which is a bit like um, Candy Stripe volunteer uniform from hospitals in the US, three meters as well. Again, I was going to make one of these. And then once I bought these new patterns, I started to think, oh, maybe I could make one of those. But I think I'll stick with this one because it'll be very quick and 
um, I'm just sort of looking for like a, a summer uniform, you know, like dresses I know I will like grabbing. Yes, yeah, so I, was, I thought I just wanted some quick easy sews for summer. I'm currently planning a work wardrobe for next year, which I will show you after. I'm also just about to start training for a six and a half K bush run or a, it's a yeah it's a like a national park trail walking trail run so I am going to want some new um, active wear because I haven't been active for a while so I'm going to go through my active wear drawer look at what I've got look at what fabrics I have and whip myself up a few new things I definitely need some new um, sports bras I did buy some from a fairly famous in Australia sports active wear designer called Lorna Jane and I've got to say I'm, I'm just not a huge fan of the store bought sports bra I have had a lot of luck with the endurance sports bra by Green Style and it zips up in the front which means you can get a really good tight fit and um, that's great and it's relatively easy to get off so um, I'm going to make myself some more of those it's just a matter of you know because my size has changed doing a 12 and making them up and there's a part of me I don't know if other people think this sorry I can just see my hair's a bit caught up there there's a part of me that is reluctant to make myself anything new because I've put on weight and I don't really want to make things for a bigger me because I don't want to be this big I need to lose weight and then the other <clears throat> side of me is if you don't make yourself some new clothes you're never going to feel good about yourself and then you're never going to do anything for yourself to keep improving yourself because you feel bad about yourself so you constantly feel down so I kind of am you know stuck in the middle with that but I've decided to push through so I will be making some endurance sports for us soon and uh, in the meantime so I guess I've got a work wardrobe which I will start probably in about three or four weeks um, that I'll be planning and some things that won't matter if they're a little big like a blouse I'll make now but things like pants skirts that can't be easily taken in I'll make later um, and then in the meantime I'm going to make some active wear so just to have some nice summer feel good clothing I made myself some high-waisted shorts and um, they're just elasticated ones and I'm going to make myself a couple of these um, dresses that I have on now I'll put the thing in the doobly-doo I'll show you the full dress in a moment and um, <clears throat> I'm thinking that I'm just going to shorten it a little bit for the summer time. So I'll just move you so you can see the whole dress. There we go. Um, I'll take the belt off. You can see. <clears throat> Hopefully you can see it's got an elasticated waist which comes up more as an empire line. I wouldn't mind it being a little bit further down, maybe. With the belt, it's fine. But I was thinking that I might make it sort of above the knee for summer dresses. Anyway, what do I think? Can my legs cope with that? maybe so so that's the it's a elastic in the waist there 
I put in quite wide elastic in here. It's meant to be thinner and the elastic could do with being a little bit longer in the, um, in the uh, sleeves. They sort of, they ride up a bit much. It was much tighter. So initially I didn't wear this dress. I made it. I thought I liked it. I wore it once. I decided I didn't like it. I washed it, hung it in the cupboard and it just stayed there. I put it on this morning and to be honest, with or without the belt, this is one of those stretchy belts, I actually really like it. And I thought, I don't know why I didn't like it. I think that if I'm honest, what I, I think it was two things. The elastics was too tight. It's a bit looser because I've lost a little bit of weight. Not a lot, just a bit, just a smidge. It's come off here, obviously, nowhere else. And I think the other thing is because when I look at the gathering, which I'm sure you can't see, but when I look at it, I'm like, oh, that's not very good. So then I don't like it. Anyway. <clears throat> And see the distress that my sewing room is now in. Um, I just wanted to share that little Christmas fabric, or well not Christmas fabric, but Christmas pattern spotlight haul with you. A little present to myself, I guess. Not that I need it, because we all know I have way too much stuff. And just try and kickstart this channel now. Next week, if not before. There should be a video on <coughs> my Stitchmas Party dress, which you will have seen on my stories on Instagram. Um, I will, I'll put that, those photos just in my feed as well on Instagram if anyone wants to see them. But there will be a video coming soon on, on the making of that dress. I did film it uh, as I was making it, so I just need to edit it together. So I'm going to get that done soon. I'm going to stop waffling at you right now. Let me know which pattern you think I should make first out of that haul. I think it should be, because it's summer here in Australia, it should be this one, the swimwear one, or this one, because it's very summery. So which one do you think I should make first? Let me know in the comments down below. Should I make the bathers? I'd be going for view B. So the A line. That's where the asymmetrical. Or should I make the dress? Let me know in the comments below. And hopefully I'll be back talking to you again very soon. Bye for now. Say, take me on a treasure hunt. I long for something new. Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Oh, I wish it was me.